are. So if you're tuning in right now, go ahead and click that like button and also hit the notification so that you can be alert for every time I post the videos. Just to let you know, I post at least once a week, twice if I'm feeling good, but you should definitely expect once a week. What's up, gold diggers? It's Brianna B, also known as Credit Brianna B, back with another video. And if you're now tuned in and you're new to this channel, this is a business advice and lifestyle channel. And on this advice episode, I'm going to tell to you about five ways not to be used. Now, this is something I had struggled with for a very long time because any type of relationship, friendship, you know, courtship, anything that I have been involved in, I've always felt used. And so transitioning and out of that type of mindset and going into the mindset of knowing who I am, who I'm dealing with, what I'm dealing with, and how I'm not going to be used I use these uh, five tips that I know will help you as well. So if you're feeling used and you, or you think you're feeling used, take heed to the next five things I'm going to tell you because you'll definitely know. All right. So the first thing, believe patterns, not apologies. Okay. I can easily say I'm sorry about doing something and not mean it. But if I'm really, really sorry, it'll start with changed behavior on a consistent basis and not reverting back to the, the things that you did before that made me not believe you or change my opinion of you. So believe patterns, okay, not apologies. We don't accept, well, I won't say we don't accept apologies because you need to accept apologies for you internally and mentally to move on. But just know that when the person is being sorry about the same thing on a consistent level, then it, it's time to move on. It's that's a that's a sign that you're being used. <laughs> All right, now number two, don't fall in love with potential. My mom told me this when I was like starting my dating, whatever, and she told me don't look at people's potential because potential is just potential without work persistence consistence what is what is potential everybody has potential to do something but it's the people that go out and do it on a consistent basis that is taking advantage of their potential to have their potential be actions be a lifestyle so don't fall in love with people's potential fall in love with what they do every single day to get to their potential because if you fall in love with people's potential, you'll be used. I am guaranteeing you, you will. Because um, me as, you know, my platform on Gold Diggers, G-O-A-L, I'm always encouraging people to go out and do the things that they want to do, that they want to love. Even so much personally in the past with my relationships, I have like stopped everything I was doing to make sure that that person was was doing their dreams and doing their goals and really in reality I was just hindering myself because I was falling in love with their potential and not their potential of 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 their consistency and doing what it needs to be done to get to where they want to where they want to be so don't fall in love with people's potential now don't take that the wrong way saying that you shouldn't stand by people if they're having potential, if they're doing potential, then of course, you know, you see that they're actually going out. Let's just use uh, going to college for an example. Um, when you go to college every single day after your four years or however long you're in your college, you graduate. But if you don't go to class, if you don't take your test, if you don't pass your test, you're not going to graduate. But anybody could have the potential to go to college, but is your potential leading you to finish college? So don't fall in love with people's potential. Number three. Mm, mm, mm. I was hard, and I was hard, but they, <laughs> Don't ignore the red flags. Believe the red flags, because if the red flags are there, it doesn't depend on how minute they are. If they're there, they're there, okay? Don't ignore them, because people are going to treat you how you allow them to. And if you ignore the red flags, as an example, let's say 
anytime you wear makeup, right? Your significant other, I won't even use makeup because I don't want to be biased. I'm just going to use this as an example. Do not ignore the red flags. If somebody's telling you, you know what? I don't, want, I don't really want you to wear makeup, but they met you wearing makeup. Okay. That's a red flag because that just means that they met you. They were cool with you. They fell in love with you, but then all of a sudden, now that they have you, they don't want anybody else to have you or they feel insecure. So then they're like, I don't want you to wear makeup anymore. You can't wear makeup anymore. Well, did you meet me with makeup? So not only am I going to continue to wear this makeup, but you are dismissed because that's a red flag. And the red flags can be as small as, you know, a person who used to have their phone faced up and now every time you are around them they have their phone face down that's another red flag so my point is do not ignore the red flag in any type of in any type of situation a relationship a friendship uh uh you know um a colleague do not just don't ignore them because you will be you'll start your mind will start being conduced to say you know what that they don't mean that or they didn't mean anything by it when in reality they did otherwise it wouldn't happen they wouldn't have said it so don't ignore don't ignore red flags because that's your you know that's your cue to go and you're gonna want to go when you see those red flags because you don't want to deal with that who wants to deal with craziness some people do i don't know number four know your work if you feel like you're here but you allow somebody to treat you here how is it that's your knowing your worth, you're understanding your worth, even down to your morals and your values that you advertise, but don't necessarily follow through with. So if it's something that you are saying is you, then make sure you are displaying that and illustrating that every single day of your life. Know your worth. When you find your worth, do not ever lower your standards. And that's number five, okay? If you already have... And I think a lot of times not lowering your standards, it gets misunderstood with like being bougie or um, uh, turning your nose down on people. But if you know what you're worth and you know what your standards are and you have them set forth for yourself, why would you lower them for anybody but yourself? So don't ever, 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 ever. I don't care if you don't take heed to nothing else I said because they all go right back into it. Because if you have the standard of knowing your worth, you have the standard of believing red all the red flags, you have the understanding of not falling in love with potential, you have the understanding of um, believing the patterns and not the apologies, then you'll know what your standards are. So just take heed to all of these and these are the ways to know that if you're being used so don't be used know what know what it is that you want in life and go after it every single day that's what i enjoy instilling into all of my gold diggers no matter the platform whether it comes from my credit clients my financial literacy clients my business clients my real estate clients or just my consultations of lifestyle it's extremely important to not be used you do not want to live your life draining yourself for the next man so know your worth and don't be used. I hope that these tips came in handy. I hope you will take heed to them in your everyday life going forward. And most importantly, I hope that you continue to be a gold digger. If you would like to connect with me on any of the platforms, of course, they're right there for you. So just make sure you follow me because I love to connect. My whole objective and everything I do is just to help people grow. I've literally done everything I wanted to in my young years of living. And now it's your chance. So go out there every single day and be one day closer to your dreams. Until next time, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And connect with me on all social media platforms. Talk to you later, gold digger.